Welcome to Media House Entertainment. Oh, shoot. You just got shot by Shooter Trash. Shout out Media House News, Shooter Trash. Smoking this weed like a junk. Got me going eight shit, just like a monk. Uh, trying to get some cash, get some guns. Uh, just like a track, you know I'm running. Uh, smoking this weed like a junk. Got me going eight shit, just like a monk. Uh, trying to get some cash, get some guns. Uh, just like a track, you know I'm running. Yo, yo, this your boy Shooter Trav. We live. Direct back with another interview. This our second joint right here, man. Part two. Part two. How you feeling today? I'm excellent, my brother. We back. T H E J U A N T A. You know the vibes. And if you don't, you do not, baby. Yeah, man. So um, let's just talk about what's new with you though. Since the last time we linked up, which is um, which was last year. We shot a video, but then we did an interview beforehand. Mm -hmm. But um, just talk about what, what, a little bit. What's new with you between the time that we last spoke and now? Shit. Fatherhood is one of them. Fatherhood. I was just going to say that that was going to be the first thing because that's the most important. If you don't know nothing else about me, take care of my responsibilities first. So that's the first thing. My son, Taka, he officially here. And we finna go crazy. The second thing is I'm dropping music, going back at it. You get what I'm saying? I took a break because, you know, when you're a father, you got to be a father first. So I had to take a break, but now I'm back. Um, third thing is, man, this interview is finna go crazy. Views been going up. Been slowly getting my little buzz that I need, so it's just like, hey, it's a blessing. I'm here. We here. Yeah, you've been dropping consistently too. Consistent. But, um, let's, let's talk about fatherhood a little bit, though, mm -hmm. man. Um, how, how's that been for you? You been, you know, you had to wake up early, early mornings, changing yeah. diapers, all of that. Um, just talk about that a little bit, man. Shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a blessing, man. That's that's probably the the biggest thing for me right now. Um. Getting up, like you said, got to change the diapers, got to make sure he eating, he good. It's a, it's a blessing and a curse. Because mm -hmm. I done seen a lot of fake shit with a lot of fake people. You get what I'm saying? And they still love. They know who they is. I ain't got to speak on it. Um, but other than that, man, it's, it's a blessing because I get to see me grow again. Mm -hmm. A little you. A little me. So it's just like, and he a boy, so. Mm -hmm. He got to see his father doing something other yeah. than just sitting on his ass. So. Mm -hmm. And that, that give you more motivation to, to mm -hmm. push behind your music and, and, and to go hard on that? To go crazy on that. Like, I can't lie to you. <clears throat> Once my son got here, I really understood that it was different. It is different now. Like, I got to... It ain't no time to just sit back and be like, no, nah, we own it. Everything that I want, I'm coming to get it. Mm -hmm. My spot that I've been itching for and been, been grinding for is here. So you ain't stopping? I'm not stopping for nobody. Yeah. And talk about that a little bit. Like I said, you've been dropping consistently, though. You, mm -hmm. um, you dropped two projects already this year. But um, just talk about that a little bit, man. With your, you you seeing your numbers go up every time you drop. The more you drop, your numbers uh, keep rising up. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Sid, <clears throat> I was just talking to my lady and said she like, she like, well, I told her I got a bet, I bet two dollars. Like, you know, my video within like the next day, I'm gonna hit 1K. And I just dropped the scene, I mean, I just dropped Junkie, and that's an old, old video. Mm -hmm. And what'd it do? It went up. It went up, so it's just like, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't have to lie about nothing no more. And I'm gonna keep doing me, like, just fall back, you get what I'm saying? Cause I got next, and I've been saying that for the past two years, but I ain't been putting the work in, but I got next, cause yeah, it's my time. Yeah, and um, th let's talk about the, the two tapes that you dropped, man. Uh, let the people know okay. uh, the name of the tapes and where they can find them at. All platforms, wherever you're streaming at, that you can find it at. Duante, T-H-E-J-U-A-N-T-A. And the first album you can find is the OK album. And then the second one, Solely Eclipse, I just dropped that like three, two, three months ago. So, it's up. It's yeah. Up. And um, did you lock in with certain one producer on the the tapes or whatever, or you just you got a very a variation of different uh, producers? No, uh, all the music that that that's on there, some most of those beats is from my dude Nico, Nuku. Shout out Nuku. When you see this, you know them. That, that's your work. Um, the Dead Dream series. That's all his work. Um. That's, a, that's another thing. I got a series right now going crazy. Dead Dreams, Dead Dreams 2 and 3. Um, videos for Dead Dream, they got 6K. Uh, blessed to have that, especially unsigned and not really known in the city, not really known in the state. So to have that, that's a blessing. Then 1.9K on my subs for my official 
channel, for my official channel on YouTube. So it's just like, you feel me? Bro, it's we lit. Coming yeah. from that fishbowl, baby. Yeah. You got you got any features on your uh, your tapes like that? Yeah, my bros, Nico and um, uh, Flex. Okay. Other than that, oh yeah, my boy Zero, he he just locked in with me. He just he just locked a couple features in. With we got some shit dropping with that too. Um, but no, other than that, no. But I am looking to work with some artists though. I got yeah, some artists in the cut. Um, we finna yeah, we finna lock some shit. Man. Yeah. So like I said, you you dropped two uh, tapes already this mm -hmm. year. You got more more stuff coming. You got more new music coming. Uh, new video. A little Let dance. Wait, wait, a little little dance song. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, yeah. And then the ladies, we, we hey shaking ass all summer. Cause I'm telling you that that shake it. We finna go dumb with that. We finna go dumb. We finna go dumb. I can't even lie to you. We finna go dumb. Yeah. So shake it for the ladies. Shake it for the ladies. Most devil. And man, other than that. I mean, I'm not a cocky person. I'm willing to work, but I know a lot of people don't really, like, fuck with me or my music. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, if they get a feature from me, motherfucker gonna be like, oh, why you get a feature with him and shit like that? And I ain't worried about that. It's just, <clears throat> shit, niggas wanna work with me, they wanna work. If not, then shit, it ain't fuck them, but mm -hmm. fuck them, shit. Yeah, but what, what would make you say that, that a lot of people don't rock with your music or rock with two music? Shit, a lot of people really don't like. You, you well, come, you come I be different? capping. I be capping. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers say they don't fuck with my music in person, but then when they get behind closed doors, they're smoking this weed like a junkie, or or goddamn um smoking this gas bit leaf. You feel what I'm saying? Like niggas be man, motherfuckers be capping like they don't listen to my shit, and I know they listening to my shit. Yeah. And um, I mean, like you said, what you think it's gonna take for you to become? Um, that top guy though, out of North Carolina, like getting on statewide and stuff like that. You say you consistently dropping, your numbers are going up. But what you think that it, that you can do to take you over to that next level? Just bring more bars, more energy, and then just let the people decide who they want to fuck with. That's how I really truly see this shit. Like people gonna pick and choose who they want to listen to, who they want to fuck with. People gonna listen to whatever they want to listen to. Shit and. Honestly, bro, they gonna tap in if they feel like tapping in. Other than that, they ain't gonna really. It is what it is. But I'm. That's that's my drive though. Mm -hmm. That's the way. The same way Kobe made it. You get what I'm saying? He listening to the critics and saying like, oh, you know, he this, he that, he 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 ain't really, you know. But eventually, now look at him. He the goat. So that's my motive. I'm a black mamba right now. So I'm in that mode. Yeah. Um, and let, let's talk about the, uh, get down to your videos though, man. Um, talk about how important though it is to, to lock in with good directors, mm -hmm. um, good blogs and all of that. That you, you, cause in today's age with the social media area, like you need that in your, your corner. You need to, for so, for you need so. somebody good that's doing your videos, um, tapping in with blogs to, to reach more people. Cause some people don't do that. They just drop videos, but. Logs is super important, you know. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, it's very important because you gotta you gotta have like a fan base with this music shit for real. If you ain't got no fan base, you ain't gonna make it nowhere. Niggas ain't gonna tap in, especially like say for a fact like your music video, like not even like up to par to where it should be like with edits, effects, and shit like that. Ain't nobody really gonna tap in because it's plain. So they're going to think automatically that your song ass because you got a plain ass video. So it's important to get with somebody that you know that really got work that you know for sure. All right, I'm going to get with you. You're going to get with me. We're going to record this shit. And I ain't got to, I ain't got to worry about nothing. When I get the products and shit, everything going to be good. It's going to be it's, it's gonna be what it's for. And at the same time, it's good to build a relationship with somebody, though, for real. Like, have that bond and, and actually... You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tap in with the person and not just tap in with the person for that moment or just because you think they hot and then, you get what I'm saying? Like, then on top of that, be, fucking with these vlogs for real, these vlogs and these vlogs that people be doing, that's where, that's that's really where it's at for real. Yeah. Like, that's where people get to see the personality and all mm -hmm. of that. You get know? to see you for who you is. You get what I'm saying? Because the motherfucker will point it out easily. Like, oh shit, you don't bullshit. Niggas are within two minutes of the video, they clicking off because they like, you know, you ain't, you you get what I'm saying? So it's just, it's important. But it's also important to be yourself though, on and off the camera. 
I mean, what's your management looking like, man? You got a manager uh, right now, or you, you just out here grinding and doing it uh, solo? Yeah, I'm trying to say I'm just doing it solo. I've been doing it solo this whole time, for real, for real. Like, I really ain't had no co-sign, nobody really, to, you get what I'm saying? Like, nobody truly, like, you get what I'm saying? Fuck with my shit when it comes to letting it be shown that they fuck with my shit, if that makes sense, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So behind closed doors, motherfuckers bumping my shit, listening to it. And I'm, and I'm just sitting back like, thank you. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a blessing to me at the end of the day because you're helping me. Like like Rob always says, you're going to help me blow. You get what I'm saying? So you know, I count yeah. my days, man. Count my days. Yeah, and that's all it is, putting that work in. And mm -hmm. you just get that one. All it takes is one song to catch a wave. One song yeah. catch a wave when you got your, little, your fan base. And then you just keep building on it from there. You feel go crazy, but no, I ain't, I ain't working. I, I, I am looking for a manager, like a strong manager, somebody to really be like, all right, look, we finna start booking shows, we finna start doing this, we finna start doing that, like interviews, cause I need more of these. So people be like, all right, he from Durham, North Carolina, he he here, he there, you get what I'm saying? Like to make it more mm -hmm. spicy. Spicy, yeah. And that's why management do a good manager be able to get, get you on them bigger platforms and Get you open it up for certain artists, on you know what I mean. So man, I'm doing gonna go things like that. With this shit, yeah, bro. doing things like that make you turn up. Oh, you going? You can say you going overseas. With I'm, it. I'm gonna go overseas. Yeah. So you you feel like your style probably uh, a catch overseas faster than out here in the in the states? So, cause so that, some people happen like that. I got mosh pit music. If motherfuckers don't know what a mosh pit is, that's when you got a whole bunch of motherfuckers. I'm talking about like. 2,000 people in one room and we going crazy. I'm pushing niggas and niggas pushing me. I'm like, it's wild. That's what type of music I got. I got that Playboy, Lil Uzi, and maybe some Sauce Walker type vibes mixed together. Yeah. But then at the same time, I do be trying to do shit like that's R&B. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's just like, at some point in time, you is going to have to drift off or like find another wave because eventually that wave that you own is going to die. Yeah. And after it died, what you gonna do? Try to recreate it again? Like it's already been done. So. It's already been done. Yeah, you just gotta reinvent something else. Mm -hmm. Reinvent like, something else. Just, that's how it go. That's how it go, big bro. So I'm trying to go to Paris. I'm really trying to be like in Paris, performing like people on stage, like going crazy. Cause I, I'm that type of I'm that type of energy. I'm not gonna tell you you can't get on stage with me. You feel what I'm saying? If you a diehard fan and you know like all my music, all my songs, mm -hmm. especially like the Dead Dream series, cause that's what I really want to blow. That Dead Dream. Dead Dream series. Talk about that a little bit. All right, how that came from that that originally started from like nightmares to dead dreams, and nightmares just come from like everything that I've been through in life overall. Like no matter what it is, but then. I started thinking like, all right, what about my music? What about my rap career? Like, you gotta have a series or something. So I was gonna go with the Junkie series, but then I'm like, Junkie is just a one hit song. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta pick it up. So I'm like, all right, Dead Dreams. And then it's just like, I want to tell you know, uh, damn, what I say? I want to tell you know, I want my queen. Ah, uh, got mirrors all on my jeans. Ah. Uh, and you know a nigga got drill, uh huh. And you know they watching while I lean. You get what I'm saying? Like it's it's some it's a it's a it's a rock vibe. It's a like. rock vibe, yeah. So I start putting it together where I do. You feel me? Got you know a couple of mirrors, but I want more. You get what I'm saying? I do got designer, but I want more. That's a dead dream. You get what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a dream that's in my head that I want, but I know that dream gonna come with a whole bunch of other shit. So am I really ready for it? And that's pretty much like my story behind that series like it's, mm -hmm. it's it's pain but then at the same time it's that rock music like, that rock music that rock music. yeah you need a guitar for it baby okay and what, what's your ultimate I, I, uh go on the music tip man i know probably you know the blood would be one of the biggest artists in the world right but mm -hmm. what would you do with that influence when you got the world at your you know your fingertips and you know, you can influence them to do good stuff, bad stuff, drugs, uh, you know, go to school, whatever it is. What, what you would do with that influence once you get it? Hmm. Cause you know, music is powerful, man. If if I'm being real, what I do with it for real is just really try to build this neighborhood up for real. 
really try to feel my city better. It's, it could be better, but you know, it is what it is. Like you, you gotta adapt, you gotta adjust. But if I get that power for real, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I'm building schools. We building colleges. We we doing all types of tutoring programs after schools like. It's these kids, man. We gotta get to these kids for real. Mm -hmm. And like, really show them like, hey, somebody do love you for real. Like, that's the, that's, the, that's the realest thing that you could ever know that somebody out here really truly do love you. Like, not for a relationship, not for none of that. They truly do love you. Just genuinely love you because it's in them to love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We need a lot more of that. But that's what I would do, bro. I would spread a whole bunch of love, bro. Like, like I buy me a crib, you feel me? I make sure my family's straight, my son, you feel what I'm saying? Like that, that's gonna come. But with that power, that knowledge that I got, that image, you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it the rock. Like I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna switch over. Like, yeah. Cause I don't want nobody to think that, oh, I'm a gangster, I'm a killer, I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? I'm me, I'm a man. And at the end of the day, that do come with protection. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, hey. Don't, you know, take it how you want to, but mm -hmm. for the people, I, I spread love, man. Spread, spread love. love. <laughs> like, that's the yeah. whole message. It's, the whole, it's the whole message, man. But on the material tip, man, what would be the, like, the first car, crazy car you, uh... I need a Bentley. Need to, okay, I need a Bentley. And then, I don't know, i say a Sprinter truck for my mom. Okay. For so, sure, them two things off the roof. Yeah. But so right now though, if you had the, you could choose any feature right now, artist in the game. You like yo, I want a feature with him. You could get it today. Mm. What artist would that be? Mm. K Camp for so. K Camp, okay. K Camp, but are we talking about in the city? Really in the game? It can be in the industry. You know what I mean? Yeah, K Camp for so then. Count, that's for sure. Yeah. That, that's for sure. It that's was sure. gonna be Mo three. Mhm. Mm R.I.P. to Mo three. R.I.P. But count, yeah, for, for sure to count, cause I know y'all. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah sir. That's, yeah. I, 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 I ain't expect to hear K Camp name, man. What, what does that come from? K Camp, I like K Camp though. Shit. But, you know, you, you don't hear as much from them these days than you know previously. I'm gonna be real, it came from a while back, a while back, like when he came out with Money Baby. Then after that, I was on every mixtape that he that he dropped, like heavy, like especially all the, especially the Kiss series. That's kind of where my Dead Dream series kind of came from, for real. Okay. Because he got Kiss and then all the way to Five. So it's just like, you know, I, I was I was on it. So it's just like, all right, I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna create me a series. Shit, if he can do it, I can do it too. Shit, what's up, man? You get what I'm saying? What's stopping me? Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, I had to understand that shit. It, it, it came with hard work. Came with the grind. Came with the grind. But um, say, are, are you one of them people? Say in the industry, man, how, how, how people pick sides, man. Like it's like either you rocking with uh, NBA Young Boy, you rocking mm -hmm. with Lil Dirt. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like how how do you feel about that, man? Are you fans of either one of them? And would you like two sides in the industry type? Nah, that's what I'm saying. I'm coming in on some solo shit. Okay. Like, I get a feature like I probably another feature for real, Playbook Cardi. Okay. Other than that, like no, nah, I'm keeping it simple. I'm doing me. I'm create my own way, start my own way. I want you to come to me for a feature. Mm -hmm. like, that not, type of time. You get what I'm saying? I'm not finna no no disrespect and it ain't no no shit like that, but it's just like no, nah, I want you to pay me for a feature. Like you the little hook you want, all right, you you got to pay me maybe like Five bands with. I ain't gonna charge the niggas no crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? 10, 20 bands with. Because that's gonna come from shows. That's gonna come from the back end. That's gonna come, you know what I'm saying? That check gonna get cut regardless. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I am trying to go independent, but at the same time, I know I do need to manage it. Like, especially like after what's, what's gonna go down for it. Mm -hmm. I know I need to manage it. Yeah. And um, I, usually, how long it take you, though, to record a song when you're in the, uh, when you're in the studio? So when you're hearing the beat. Do you go in there and I already have it written or you just feel it? If I hear the beat for sure and I like it, 
off the rip, I'm coming up with some crazy shit. Like, I'm just coming up with something stupid. But at the same time, as of lately, with me recording, it's probably been taking like an hour, hour and a half, because things gotta be right, bro. Like, it's time to stop dropping, like, it's time to stop dropping, like, non-industry music, if that makes sense. So, like, the, the vocals gotta be right, the beat gotta be right, the frequencies and the vibrations in the songs, like, everything had to, it gotta be perfect down to the T, the lyrics especially, like, you know, man, this shit is hard work. This shit is a grind. You gotta grind with this shit for real. Yeah. Yeah, let the people know though, man. It ain't just about recording a song though and just dropping it. Like you said, there's a, there's a lot of other work that go into it. You got to push mm -hmm. the song. You need some marketing behind it. Uh, all of that. Yeah. And when man. you're doing it by yourself, you got to get the artwork. You got the. you doing everything. Everything by yourself. But then at the same time, when you got a team, they're going to help you. But then at the same time, that's when you really can't. Be selfish. You gotta understand that motherfuckers is here to help. Like we trying to, we we everybody gotta get a, a check that's cut at the end of the day because it takes money to make money. Like you gotta put in money for the marketing. You gotta put in money for the producers, the cameraman. Like you gotta put in this work for the directors. Like this shit ain't easy. Man. It's just like man, people be thinking that. Oh yeah, I'm finna get out here. I'm finna make a song. And, I'm finna go crazy, it's finna go, it's finna, I'm finna blow up that night. Like, mm -hmm. no, bruh. It's cause you know people, people know you, you feel me, and, and you got shit going on, don't mean that, you feel what I'm saying? You, mm -hmm. you finna just blow instantly, like, no. Oh, yeah, your shit. and talk about, uh, you know, coming out of Durham, North Carolina, North Carolina, period, it's just, it's that much harder. It's, it's, no, nah, North Carolina, low key, is within like the next two years, we gonna be at, like nationally known. Mm -hmm. like, Motherfuckers is really like blowing. I don't, I, I don't, I don't beef with nobody. So you feel? I, I listen to everybody in my city. Look at everybody, like, like for sure. But I do listen to my partners a lot, though. Like for real, for real. Yes. And, and them niggas, yeah, them niggas be snapping and spazzing. They like that. You, you want to give them a shout out, though, man? Anybody shout out? As far as the uh, other artists in Durham, you rocking with? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, shit. Shout out my nigga Zay, shout out my nigga Zoo. Goddamn, shout out Wiz, shout out Goddamn Baby Torch, shout out 2-3, Goddamn, another director that's on some shit. Goddamn, shout out my nigga Tevo, uh, shit, my little brothers and shit, they be rapping, shout out my nigga K-Way, he got, I'm, we finna get back in the studio and some shit, and um, shit, shout out to everybody, shout out to everybody in my city that's really working, for real, for real, like, fuck the boys, shit. I don't want nobody. Like, I don't want nobody to think that I don't listen to them. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. cause I do listen to everybody in the city, but it's a lot of motherfucking names to to, to drop. That's like, out here doing their thing. Cause every, yeah. even these females. Shout out to these females though. That's really out here, really spitting this shit. Cause mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a couple females that's out here that's really going crazy, going crazy. and, and yeah. doing their shit. And I and I salute you for that. Cause you a woman, you a female like that, like on some. On, on some Rapping shit kind of harder than some of these niggas out here. Mm -hmm. Shit, some of them kind of harder than me, and I be like, hold on, hold on, <laughs> like you not finna out rap me, baby. You feel what I'm saying? I'm looking at you. You not finna out rap me, baby. Yeah. But I love it though. I love it because everybody working. Every, everybody working. Even mm -hmm. shout out to all the directors in North Carolina, even in my city, bro. Like this. Everybody working. It's and, hard um, to get to the top, man. It is, man. And you 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 mentioned Zay. Get rich, Zay. Yes, I feel like he probably the number one independent artist for sure. Out of Carolina right for now, sure. he on for fire. Sure. That's, um, that's it. Talk about him a little bit, man. Are y'all from like the same hood, same area, or y'all nah, just, nah. just know each other? Nah, I, I mean, goddamn, I'm pretty sure I done seen him Broadway back, like way, way back, like jit type shit, because of my little brother and shit, like. But other than that, like I got them, probably want to get them. Get a feature and shit, you feel what I'm saying? Cause that nigga got them doing this shit for Oh yeah, he putting out crazy yeah. numbers right now. I done probably ran, I done probably seen this nigga like, maybe one time in my lifetime. Okay. Cause goddamn my little brothers and shit, like, goddamn. Other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't know the nigga personally, but yeah. that nigga got them. He doing his thing. Nick, or that nigga got them. I like that shit with him and Stunner though, that, that shit with him and Stunner. Mm-hmm. And well, I feel like Durham got it right now, though, as far as like all the um, everybody with the motion, man, that's having motion yeah, out of the whole state. I think shit. Durham got the most 
probably artists. We out everybody. Out with this shit, my nigga, my, my big cut, 50 Wiz, goddamn mm-hmm. Nigga got shit on lock. Nigga, Zoo got shit on lock. Mm-hmm. Nigga Tay, 2SG, Tay, goddamn Boss Flip got shit on lock. Like, niggas, niggas really, like, for real. Like, this shit, this shit more than just, like, a game motherfuckers be thinking, like, Durham mm-hmm. really, Durham really finna have a name. Mm-hmm. Then I'm finna add my name up there to that list, like, for sure, like, Top ten rappers, yeah. really, I'm finna be and that, that's motivation, right? Just seeing a lot of these guys too, the num- the numbers that they putting up. Like I know that's motivation for you. Like yo, I, I'm gonna keep going because I can grab that same for sure. audience. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Even for a bigger sure. audience, and like you know. For sure. Like when my shit start going up, I'm like, all right, shit. My little buzz is like, it's, it's, I've been talking about it, but it's here now. Like so, shit. It's just like, nigga, what you gonna do? Like. You you be voting for these niggas to make it to the top ten, you feel me, top five rappers and win this shit, you feel me? Eventually, mm-hmm. like now, nigga, niggas finna start voting your name. Yeah, that's how I be. And like you said, uh, you know, getting a couple features and stuff like that, man, I think that's gonna get you that'll get you bubbling crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? A couple that couple would. of the right features. Just to shine more light on you. You out of here. Get a different audience. Cause yeah, to get a different audience because the music there, you know what I'm saying? Just to build up a, a bigger audience, mm-hmm. features and, 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 you know, collaborate and stuff like that help help out. I think that would really boost my shit. Excuse me. I think that would really help for real. Because I'm like, I do need a bigger audience. Mm-hmm. Like, Oh, motherfuckers dancing my shit too. Like, hey, you feel me? Like, hold on, hold on, you feel me? Hey, all of that. Like, but I love it though. Like, patience. That's what I'm starting to learn. Okay. Patience. That's what it's about. Patience, cause like, I know I gotta keep like, I gotta keep going, cause eventually like, it's a light that's at the end. So it's like, I I'm going to that light. It ain't no I got to go. Like I'm going to that light. Like, and. I don't think nobody understand that, but y'all gonna know for sure, and y'all gonna feel it. And when when it when it happen, don't be like, oh yeah, no, I told you so. That's how we gonna keep it. But yeah, yeah. talk about the hood too, though, man. We out here on uh, what four seasons, man. man. Just talk about seasons. that a little bit. The fish man. bowl. Yeah. But no, nah, I, I grew up out here. Okay. Family out here. Family like, out here. This whole hood is just surrounded by like family. Not no bros, not no, you feel me, like family, like, we all equal out here. Nobody think that nobody's better than nobody, like, we all equal, like, family, man, like, it's, it's, it's deep, like, it's this, deep, this block yeah. right here, just been through some shit, then you know, nigga, if you done been out here during the summers, you done seen some crazy shit. You done seen some crazy shit, I'm talking about stupid. Hey, hey. I may mean, talk about Durham a little bit though, man. I know we touched down in the in the in the last interview, but you know, Dur- Durham get a lot of uh it's like a lot of crime and stuff that go on out here though, man. Talk about that a little bit. Cause some people in Raleigh they like, man, I don't mess with Durham because Durham be Yeah, yeah. Don't bring your ass out here. <laughs> you know I mean? Tell me don't don't come out here on no funny shit. I can't say that for a fact, especially these outsiders. Don't come out here on no funny shit. Like for real, really don't come out here no funny shit. And watch what you're doing. And all I can say, shit, get protected. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, get protected. Yeah. Well, um, we we gonna hop back on the music. Um, I know you said you got a single coming for the ladies. Um, other than that, you you dropping any more tapes this year? Uh, music videos dropping. Uh, what can the people expect for the uh, for the remainder of the year? All right, so look, this is how it's going to go, but it might not go like this, so don't get your hopes up. Take this with a little bit of grain of salt, baby, but then at the same time, I might be serious. You never know. Summer, twerk songs, shaking ass, popping bottles, with the models, going full throttle, dot. What's next after that? i probably say my birthday. My birthday, I'm dropping videos, Dead Dreams part two and three. We'll officially get official videos. Um, I can't say I'll probably drop a tape, but I might drop a tape on my birthday, just depending on how shit go. But for show sure, videos, more interviews, you feel what I'm saying? And then at the same time, I might shoot my first vlog behind the scenes. 
mm-hmm. probably get you see how my day is or just okay damn, day in their life go to the studio you feel what i'm saying and go to studio rock out just live life you feel me understand who i am cool ass motherfucker and if anybody don't think that they hate thanks they hate for real hey hey let uh producers know where they can send beats at man just in case some producers, some producers watch this what can uh, they send the beats to the one tape records at gmail.com that's t-h-e j-u-a-n-t-a records r-e-c-o-r-d-s at gmail.com okay and you got a certain like i said you got a certain style of beats you like the the, the playboy cardi style beat so me, what, what style you on uzi vert type what, what? send me some rock like some metal like some hard metal but with some 808s that's going stupid okay and claps yeah maybe some snare i adjust to it but other than that rock that's like with a trap beat and them 808s with them claps we going up going up man and um you know before we do get up out of here anything you want to leave with the people man anything we ain't cover yet honestly no because i don't want y'all to know nothing else honestly um what? The birthday, man. Uh, let them know when the birthday is. Cause, hey, they might want to drop some gifts off to you. October 8th. October you know? 8th. Uh, I put, no, no, matter of fact, I'm going to leave y'all with this this, 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 one, this one thing that's in the air. Mm-hmm. That's my first show. I ain't going to tell you when it is. I ain't going to tell you where it's at right now. But my first show is coming up very soon. Very soon. All right. Anything else? Shout outs? Uh, shit, shout out to fam. Shout out my little brothers and sisters. I miss y'all for sure. Um, shout out my mama. That's the first thing. Shout out my mama. For sure, for real. If nobody else and nothing else, shout out to my mama. Right. And then, last one, shout out to my little king. Like, my young king, for mm-hmm. real. I love you. And it's for you. Other than that, shit. Hey, we motherfucking lit, baby. <laughs> yeah, already, man. You already know. I said, I'm going to stay in tune with you, man, and, you know, keep up with what you got going on. Any videos you drop, we're going to drop it and promote it uh, through Media House News, man. Let's go you crazy. already know how it go. Let's go crazy. Man. Yes, sir. So, you know, I go by the name of Shooter Trav, Media House News. We sign it out.